Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back. I mean, you know, with every class you think this is the last class, but you know, no, it isn't. We have a lot of time. I mean, not a lot at least. We have some time for the exams to come, right? Thank you. Thank you, Javi. I'm perfectly audible and visible. Thank you. So, done with practice, done with court some sessions, done with case-based sessions. Means what is left. And you know what? This topic, the top seven physics mistakes you can do in exams, we have been doing this. You might have realized it, you might have not realized it, but you know what? We have been doing this in each and every session. Today, we'll just focus specifically on this, right? Yes, hey, Srishti, Vidushi, Charvi, Sanya, Amal. I'm good, Fenil, how are you? Vidushi, good evening, good evening. All right. Nice. And you know what? With this session today, I want one activity from all of you. All See, with every kind of mistake, I'll show you examples also. You can categorize yourself which mistakes you do most commonly, right? You can just introspect in you what mistakes you are very frequently doing without realizing, all right? So that's something which we should be taking care of. And you know what? That's what we'll do that I want from you, first of all, all right? Let's just wait for one more minute for people to join, right? First is calculation mistake. Yes, that's a very big mistake, you know, calculation mistake. Correct. What else? Come on. I can see the comments. Yeah. I'm visible, but I'm dark. Maybe it's my natural color, you know. <laughs> All right, don't worry. The team will make me fair. You are there with me today, by the way. Yes, conversion mistakes, yes. Srishti, Sanya, hey. Good evening, Amal. Start, yes, Hiral, we'll start. All right, so let's get back to business, right? Let's start talking about what mistakes you can do. But before starting, I just want to, you know, congratulate people for the last session. Last session, you know, was I was very ambitious because I have seen you guys struggle a lot with, con you know, case-based questions. And that's why we had the session and I gave you a homework question. Remember? Anshuman, all right. Identifying, don't worry. And how, one more thing you can do actually in this. What kind of sessions you want more for your exams of term two, you can suggest and put down in the comments, all right? You can make this thing today. Yes. So this session we took last time and by the way, I can see very few likes over here. What is this? Huh? <laughs> all right. So Nikesh, the learning chap, Bhagya, Shraddha. I could see only four answers. I don't know why. So that's why. Congratulations to all the homework rockers. Yes, Pendel. Very good. So this is for all of you. And this will be a thing we can do now. You know, I can congratulate people who are doing the homework questions and it's okay. This time it was only four, but I have seen a lot of you are doing it and I'm, you know, I'm wishing very, very good. The kind of answers I get, they are very done very well. So that's why nice, nice job everyone. Okay. Let's move tips to avoid mistakes. What mistakes, right? That's the next question. Which kind of mistakes, right? Oh, Charvi. I was expecting your answer because Charvi is quite consistent and Fennel, you are also quite consistent. I have seen a lot of you are quite consistent over there. Yes, it's okay. I know it was a, it was a big answer. So type of mistakes. I see the, the mistakes you mentioned me were calculation, conversion, right? Don't worry. We have that. Apart from that, <laughs> oh, Srishti, it's a, it's a GK thing. Network, sit at a place where you have good network, right? I'll tell you what all different mistakes, the thing which we don't even realize. The access labels, visualize the questions, circuit diagram analysis, using suitable formulas, proper units, label the diagram and applying the right hand rules properly, all right? So this is the broad categorization in which we'll work today, all right? Work done and energy, oh, Shreyans. Work done energy, flip sides of the two you know, there are two sides of the same coin. Work done energy. If you have energy, you can do work. If you if you are doing work, you can give energy. Same thing. So there's, there's no difference in that. 
Srishti, uh, the point should be clear. It, is, it doesn't matter if you give the exact definition as the book, but you should be specific of what you are writing. No stories, no vagueness, no ambiguities. Be clear. Your language is fine. Not a problem with that. Yeah, but I think Papiya is not there. Alright, screen is blur. Shreya, screen blur means network thing. I would say change the settings or refresh. Alright. Cool. Let's start. Let's start with the first thing. And guys, you can interact. You can tell me which mistake you do often, right? So, we have done these things. I'm telling you again. We have done these things. That's why I want your answers. First is labeling the axis. So, do you remember? This question we did last time also, right? I mean, what is the problem over here? A lot of you will give me the answers in this. Types of motions, huh? Alright. It's okay, Gungun. Take some time. Uh, it might get better. Or try to go for a different network if you have. Lens law. Lens law? Yogi? Lens law is not there. Alright. So, you are giving the answers. Nice. Guys, we have done this question. Hai na? Ye question kar chuke hum log. A, B, A, B, A, B. Aray, nahi. Don't do that. Come on. Be consistent. What do you want? What is the... What is the wire with higher resistance? Yes, Ananya, you're right. This is IV graph instead of VI graph. This is the thing which I have told you before also. Be very careful in taking note of what is on the Y axis and what is on the X axis. Every time if you see a IV or VI graph, it's not like always the resistance will be same. Take note of V and I, where are they, right? Yes, Charvi, you are correct. Because it is a IV graph, right? So. What was the problem? Plot of wire A has higher slope, so A has more resistance. This is the first, you know, what do I say, spontaneous answer which you get in your head. But no, hold on. This is very important, right? This is not the thing. Why? X axis is voltage and Y axis is current. This is the thing which you need to take care of, all right? Fine. So A valo, Diksha, uh, uh, not A, no, no, no A. It's B, all right? Take care on which axis you have voltage and which axis you have current. Normally, we used to have voltage on the Y axis and current on the current on the X axis. And that's why we used to say higher slope, higher resistance, but here it is interchanged. What is interchanged? If you have an IV graph, that is delta I upon delta V, I upon V, this is what? One upon R, right? V equals IR, which means I upon V is what? 1 upon R, right? Lower slope is higher resistance here. Uh huh. Yes. So, Anshuman, it's okay. Axis, you have to analyze. Slope, you can think. If you want to always calculate V upon I, you can always do this. You can make a line like this, and you can make a line like this, and you will see if you want to find you want to find, wait a second, the pen, V upon I is something, let's say you are trying to find, here V is, V is smaller than I, compared to this, right, you can always do these things, oh, it's okay Spike Gaming, go back, maybe you might like me afterwards, alright, come on, come on, this one is clear, right, Wire B has more resistance. Fine. Access thing is clear now, right? All right. Kacha nimbu. Guys, focus on the session. Right? So, first thing, access. Where you can go wrong? VI graph. Because that is the most common graph. The Ohm's law graph that comes into picture, right? So, that's why. Hey, uh, Nithila. Correct, Sushti. You are right. <laughs> Yogi, I was acting, you know, I just know one thing in guitar, happy birthday song, nothing else I know. Uh, yes, come on. Next kind of mistake is visualize the question. And you know what, this is very important. I'll tell you why. Because whatever things I'm doing today, it's on the sessions we have taken together. I have observed you, the mistakes you are doing, and that's why this session came into place, all right? So, that's why. Guys, don't fight. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, it's an opinion. Yaar. I mean, if someone likes, someone doesn't like, that's fine. It's an opinion, right? So it's okay. Nothing to fight. 
हाँ बट इफ यू डोंट लाइक यू कैन लीव इट्स ओके दैट्स ऑल्सो वन ऑप्शन यू हैव थैंक यू सो यस कम ऑन गॉइस फोकस फोकस विजुअलाइज द क्वेश्चन रेजिस्टेंस आफ्टर अ वायर इज स्ट्रेच टू डबल लेंथ नाउ दिस स्टेटमेंट वेन यू हैव यू नोटिस दिस स्टेटमेंट वॉट कम्स टू योर माइंड आई टेल यू वन ऑफ द थिंग विच कम्स इन माइंड इज all right there was r new is r dash wire is stretched to double length what will be the resistance now length is doubled means r equals rho l upon a now it is r equals 2 right rho into 2 l upon a is it mean r is double now thank you thank you guys see i understand you are here because we teach concepts and yeah i understand i like you you like me that's fine guys come on there's nothing to fight over there Yes, come on, come on. Ha, huh, doubled twice. Nice, Kashif. Guys, focus, focus. So I understand, Kashif. You have taken care of, taken care of one very important thing. Yes. But I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just telling you, you have taken note of what could go wrong. You know what? Main focus in this kind of a language. So the reason we are doing this session is. these kind of languages you know they come in exams and that's why whenever it is stretched means this was my wire i have stretched it if you stretch a wire what will remain constant volume will remain constant right that is the important thing stretched is the word you need to take note of right these are important things guys note down yes and shuman that's that's exactly why i'm telling you this you forget to notice these things when you say stretched it means volume needs to be constant right it needs to be constant so what exactly are we going to do when the wire is stretched the volume remains constant means you can do this calculation right area into length equals the new area into the new length right so if i'm saying rho l dash upon a dash if if length is doubled Area is halved, and yes, Kashif, you were right over there. It becomes four times. All right, so guys, mind it. Stretched is the word you want to focus on. Correct? Yes, Shreya, you are right. Volume remains constant. Yes, Bala, area becomes half. No, 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 Kanish, resistance will not remain same. Why? Dimension? It depends on dimension. No, rho l upon a depends on length, depends on area. Rho does not. depends on dimensions that is one thing all right why is area half so charvi the language of the question is saying you the wire is stretched right when the question is telling you wire is stretched to double its length stretching means that you have taken the same wire and stretched it to double its length means its volume will remain the same the material you had in this wire it will remain the same right you did not add or subtract the materials it is same that's why you change the length area will also change all right before gaming oops before you gaming yes got the answer yes yes area into length more hard question so you know what yogi today we are focusing on what can go wrong how the question may twist itself and where we can make mistakes so everything will discuss today right i don't think harder than this could be anything at least for your grade right yeah yeah i can be a little fast you are right so this is fine right and yeah we have a dead you know hard and fast stop at 45 minutes that's why i'll i'll increase the speed don't worry all right let's take a look at this question or this statement resistance after a wire is stretched to double length now all of you when you think it is stretched that's fine stretched to double length so next kind of thing could be resistance when the length of the wire is increased to double the length keeping the area constant now what is this question this statement telling you the area is constant now right this question has given you the thing that only the length is increased area is same now area is same you understand this right the difference between stretched and this kind of a statement fine char bhi okay yes nice final is a good statement oh tumhari have pre board ha huh? yes area same rahega question hai bol diya ye 
Second, let's take a look. Resistance when the radius of wire is increased by two times keeping the length constant. So question bolega. The question will tell you whether it is going to keep constant or it is going to change. But in changing, focus on the word stretched. Take right. Thank you, thank you, Pinky. All right. Okay, one more, one more statement for you. Resistivity after a wire is stretched to double the length. Resistivity. Right. Right. Resistivity. Ah uh, ah. Uh. I understand you are giving correct answers. The reason I'm telling you these statements is so that you focus on such things when they come in exam. That's why. Same resistivity ampere. Oh, nice name, man. Ampere. Yes, same resistivity. Correct. Because resistivity depends on what? Temperature and material. That's it. Right? Constant. Constant same. I think this one is pretty fine. How will the resistance change, temperature increase, or decrease, sir? Kind. Ha. How will the resistance change if temperature increase? What will increase? Resistivity will increase. Means resistance will increase. You don't have to quantify it. Nobody will ask you how much it will change. But it might ask you it will increase or decrease. So you know with temperature, resistivity increases, resistance increases. If temperature is decreased, resistivity decreases, resistance decreases. Fine. This much is enough. All right. Come on. Next category. Nice before you gaming. You are right. Yes, Diksha. Nice. Wow, yeah. I mean, you know, looking at these answers, it feels a little satisfaction that, you know, we have done a good job. Now you know at least all these things. Nice. Correct. But yeah, yeah. very good. All right. Next kind of, the next category of mistakes which we can do is circuit diagram analysis. And you know what? You can tell me uh, which mistakes you frequently do. All right. And you can also tell in the comment section today what kind of session you want more. Fine. Current through a 3 ohm resistor. All right, come on. Let's focus on this, guys. Come on, come on. Ah, very good. Vidushi, you're also right. You're, you, all of you are right. They ask about 35 degrees Celsius question. Huh? No, no, they won't talk temperature. I'm telling you, in your grade. 1 plus alpha T and all these things are not there in your syllabus. Don't worry. Yes. Calculation. I understand. Yeah, calculation was also my, you know, the weakest part in, in exams. You used to know everything, but you make calculation mistake. Come on. Combination, Shreya. Huh? Don't worry. This is a question of combination of uh, circuits. Look. All right. Three amperes. Okay. Ananya has given an answer. All right, Vedang, Vedang, it's okay. You try once and I'll explain this. Don't worry. My, that's my job. That's why I'm here. All right. All right. Achha, you have a huh, yogi. Oh, so take a temperature coefficient alpha hai, temperature T. Hai, that's it. All okay. one plus alpha T. It's not difficult, but huh, if it's there, you know what to do. So quantitative questions can come for you, yogi. All right. Heat and energy formulas. Oh, evil. Don't worry. We'll talk about those. Yes. All right. Ha, theek hai. Ah, Shreya, yeah, I was looking for you. I mean, I was looking for this answer, four. And the reason I was looking for it because of this thing. I equals V upon R. The first intuition tells me voltage is 12. Resistance is 3, all right? So current is V upon R, so 12 by 3, and it comes out to be 4 amperes. It becomes wrong. And you know why, right? Right? Kashif? Ah, ah. There is a mistake, guys. I'm telling you. Whenever you are applying this formula, I equals V upon R, you have been asked current through 3 ohm amperes, right? So you have to check the voltage across this 3 ohm resistor. Then you can apply the formula, right? Got this? Oh, 3 will, huh? I thought you were, you were writing that, you know, E as 3. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Okay, 3 amperes, 2 amperes. Yes. 
at least you got the mistake what mistake you were doing so people who are answering four amperes you know what mistake you have done all right fine that is my first job if you understood if you realize what mistake you did half of the journey is done let's talk the other half how to go about it first of all you need to find the voltage across three ohms now you understand this the volt and guys listen very carefully this thing is important you understand three and six ohms are in parallel means whatever voltage is there across three it will be across six also so if i find the equivalent resistance right and find the voltage across that resistance that is going to be the voltage across three and six ohms right uh, oh Srishti. that's important practice more questions i'm telling you yes so three and six what we are doing is first of all we are finding the equivalent resistance in three and six ohms so they are parallel you can use the formula one upon three plus one upon six and what you'll get two ohms you can also use what three into six upon three plus six you will get what 18 upon nine that is two so you can use this also fine two ohms you got now the circuit is this two ohms and two ohms right two ohms and two ohms what is the current two plus two is four ohms right getting it getting it yes yogi it is across the circuit 12 volt is throughout the circuit not that three ohm right so that's why all right so you got the two ohm total resistance four ohm current you got three amperes now check why this is important this is very very important guys and you know what this is the most difficult question this kind of question is the most difficult one which will come in the exam this is 12 volts now it is 4 ohms and 2 ohms right current is 3 amperes on this 2 ohm how much is the voltage drop i into r that is 6 volts on this 6 volts i r right i r got it simple Shreya, don't wait. I'll, I'll repeat, I'll repeat. So, guys, focus again. This is the most difficult. We have not done this in the sessions, I'm telling you. Alright? So, 3 ohm, 6 ohm. They are in parallel, right? And you understand this 12 volt is across the whole circuit. It is not across the 3 ohm resistor. That's why, first of all, you have to find how much is the voltage drop at this parallel combination. In parallel, voltage means same. No. So, whatever voltage drop is there at 3 ohm, it is at 6 ohm also. So what I have done, I have found the equivalent resistance that is 2 ohms, fine. I have found the 2 ohm resistance plus 2 ohm, total is 4 ohm. What is the current? Current is total voltage across the circuit upon the total resistance. That is what? That is, that is 3 amperes. So yeah, I got the current as 3 amperes, right? Too hard, yeah. It's okay, it's okay, short status videos. Little bit up, but we always prepare for the worst, no? Isse bura kuch nahi ho sakta. So focus, come on. Not that hard also, yeah. 3 amperes, 2 ohms. This is current, this is resistance. How much voltage is getting dropped on that resistance? It is I into R, 3 into 2, that is 6 volts. On the second one, 3, that is I into R, that is 3 into 2, 6 volts. And in series, come on, you know this thing, right? You know in the series, what happens? In series, if you have two resistance, on one it is V1, on second it is V2, so V1 plus V2 is what? The total voltage, right? This is how we start. Sorry. This is how we start a thing, right? Is it working still? It is. Yeah, it's okay. We'll, we'll, we can manage. Yes, current is same, right? That's why I'm saying 3 amperes, it will go through 2 ohm also and 2 ohm also. You have found the voltage drop across this equivalent resistance of 2 ohm. How much you got? You got this as? 6 volts, right? 6 volts. Correct? Got there 6 volts. Which means, now if you got as 6 volts, this is 3 ohm. Now it could be V upon R. And then you get 2 amperes, right? Just a second. Add this, this thing for now. I'll just get it back. Yes. This pen is not working properly today. It's okay. Sir, will such sessions? Yeah, yeah Anjuman, it could be. So, we have more sessions, more unique sessions, and that is, electricity is hard or not? No, it is not hard. Personally, I'm telling you, it's not hard. Practice is needed. So, this question is clear, no? 2 ampere, kyun aa hai? Keshvi, for a, for a while, note this down, hai na? Note this down. We'll do more questions on this, don't worry. 
Yes, walking kid, let's prepare for the worst. Numerical session is needed. So more money, don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll take one more session. I might take one more session on numericals. And you can put this in the comment section also. What kind of session you want. Alright. Guys, focus. Got this? Understood, right? Very good, very good. Arvind, I'll repeat it. See, you have to find first of all the voltage. I'm telling you again and again, 12 volt is across this whole circuit. So which means 12 volt is not the thing you have to take. You will find a voltage drop across this then you will find that voltage upon the current will be resist that is the current right so first of all you found the r equivalent 2 ohms then you found the current 3 amperes then you found the voltage across 3 ohms right simple third step third step is this one huh? Achha. so till here it is fine right everyone this is 2 ohms this is 2 ohms this 2 ohm, ye wala 2 ohm kaise aaya? How this 2 ohm came? This is 3 ohm and 6 ohms, right? Equivalent of this. You found the voltage drop across 2 ohms. That is my intent, right? How to find this? 2 ohms multiplied by current, that is 6 volts. That is the answer, right? It was current across 3 ohm. Yes, that is what, what the question is asking, no? So I think you got the answer, right? If you found this voltage, that is 6 volts across the 3 ohms, this is 6 volts, then you can find the current. Because while finding current, it is V upon R. But what is V? The V is the voltage drop across that particular resistor. Thick. <laughs> what if it was, uh, if, it, if it was across 2 ohms, current is 3 amperes, resistance is 2 ohms, it will be 6 volts, simple, right? So that's why, I'm telling you, this was the hardest question which can come to your way, otherwise it will be easier than this, alright? Don't worry, this was the worst we were preparing for, alright? So, this was the circuit diagram analysis, combination, let's talk about suitable formula. Guys, focus, who got this and who took time to understand this, it's okay, let's come back, come on, now clear, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mathematics will always be a part of physics. Be for you gaming. Are dara ni re. As you know, you prepare for the worst. Asan aega tham kari lenge. You prepare for the worst. If it is easy, you will do it. What is the what is wrong with that? That's okay. Come on. Darana kya hota hai? Come on, come on. Next. Which bulb will consume more power? Ha. So I have seen a lot of you struggle with such questions, na? Tell me truthfully, you know? Lot of you struggle with such questions, that's why. This is one more mistake you can do. Ha. Alright. Yes, Yogi. Come on. Alright. Series connection, parallel connection, right? And for simplicity, I have given you resistance. Question kya karta? What question could have done? The question could have given you power rating and voltage rating. Why? So that you can find this resistance. So I have just, for simplicity, I have given you resistance directly. Fine. All right. Nice, Prishali. That's true. There's a flaw in this statement. Man perfect. Everyone. All right. Yes. Okay. So I'll tell you. Series combination. What is the question asking you? Which bulb will consume more power? Means you have to analyze the bulbs individually, right? Now, in the series, Current remains same. In parallel, voltage remains same, right? Nice, Vendor. Very good. Alright. So, that's why. What do we do? We take care of current in the first and voltage in the second. Because that is going to help us. Fine. Right? Nice. Yes. Parallel. Parallel. Series. Oh, nice before you gaming. Very good. So, now, that was one question, right? Focus, 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 come on. It was asking you, he dissipated, which will grow brighter. Brighter matlab kya? What do you mean bright? Which is dissipating more power? That is our, right? that is our understanding, fine. Yes, okay. Next, total heat dissipated by the bulbs in T seconds. Guys, focus. Question statement is changing now. Total heat dissipated by the bulbs in T seconds. What is the difference? Come on, focus. Can someone tell me a difference? In the first one, 
we were talking about which bulb will dissipate more power. In a way, we were asking which bulb will grow brighter. In this question, we are asking total heat dissipated by the bulbs in T seconds. Overall circuit. Total resistance, right? Yes. Got the idea? Yes. Joule's law of heating. You are right. Guys, focus. Are maybe you be so yeah, come on. Let's talk it afterwards. No. Focus, guys. Come on. Yes, yes. Uh, follow the easy method. Why? You can use V square upon R equivalent in both. So, Yogi, you are right. Both of them will give you the answer. But why I'm saying V square upon R? Why? Because now heat is being asked for the overall circuit. In the overall circuit, what is constant? The voltage is constant. Means this is 50 ohms. This is 3 to 5. What is this? 30 into 20 upon 30 plus 20 is 50. So this is what? 12. So you got 12 ohms here. You got 50 ohms here. V is given. R equivalent is given. Find the heat. V upon R, right? V square upon R. Current across 3 ohm. That was the question, no? Ananya. Across 3 ohm. I think you are asking current across 2 ohm. Then also, if you have found the current, you have found 3 amperes, that's fine. Why for both we can use same formula? Hey na, Yogi, that's what I'm uh, explaining right here. You have to find heat across the whole circuit. Heat dissipated by the bulbs. The question is not asking you by which bulb. If the question was asking you by bulb A, by 30 ohm, by 20 ohm bulb, then that formula will work. I mean, here also it will work. But it will give you quick result. You have to find the equivalent resistance in both the cases. And then you have to apply the formula V square upon R. Otherwise, what will you do? I'll tell you, what will you do? You will actually find V upon R equivalent. You will find the I. And then you will go for I square R here. I square RT. And then you will go for V square upon R into T here. Right? Got the idea? So for both, you can use the same formula in this case. The only difference in both the cases was in the first one, one particular bulb you had to focus, that's why, I square R and V square upon R. In the second one, both the bulbs needed to be focused and that's why, same formula will work. Okay? Got the idea? Right? Oh, Sahib? 11, 12, huh? Don't worry. We have discussed this. H.C. Verma for concepts. Yes. And D.C. Pandey, B.M. Sharma, module for G for practice. Alright, yes. Next, proper units. Why? So, someone told me that conversion is a problem, right? One thing is conversions. Why? I'll tell you. I'll, I'll give you examples. For each and every problem, I'll give you examples. Cost of electricity. This is one of the questions, right? One of the very common questions which we get in our exams, right? Yes. Then, so, what is happening here? Come on, come on, focus, focus, focus. Power is given to you for different different appliances and their operating time is given to you. 75 watts, 2 hours, 1 kilowatt, 30 minutes, 9 watt and 4 hours. And what is asked from you? The cost of electricity. Now, you understand, right? Can someone tell me? How do we find cost? What is the unit? right? One unit. What do we mean by one unit? It is time consuming. Yes. It might be. See, some calculations might be time taking. But it does not mean they are typical. So time lagega, but you will get the correct answer. You will get full marks. 7 rupees per unit. In Bangalore it is 5 or 7, I think. I don't know. Yes, kilowatt hour. Correct. Now, you have given the answer. Mind it, right? When you have given the answer, kilowatt hour means what will you do? You will convert. Convert what? This, this will give you what? This will give you watt hour. This will give you what? Kilowatt minute. This will give you what? Watt R. But you have to find kilowatt R. That's why you will convert. Here you will convert this to hours. Here you will convert this to kilowatt. Right? Thank you, Sahib. Yes. Got the idea, no? That's why I'm saying. Yes, Anshuman. I'm telling you, at, in my school days also, 
वाइल सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन यू आर जस्ट सो एब्सॉर्ब इन सॉल्विंग यू फकेट द यूनिट्स सेवन अगर वहां लिखा हुआ है सेवेंटी फाइव वर्ड वट यू डू इज सेवेंटी फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू ओ हो आई गॉड वन फिफ्टी सेवेंटी फाइव वर्ड मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू आर्स दिस इज अ गुड प्रैक्टिस राइट कूल गॉट द आइडिया राइट दिस सेशन इज ऑल अबाउट यू ऑल मिस्टेक्स दैट वी कैन डू इन टर्म वन वी हैड दिस आई मीन वी डिड नॉट हैव दिस लग्जरी दैट वी कैन डिस्कस ऑल दीज कैंड ऑफ सेशन बट इन टर्म टू वी हैव लेट्स टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ दिस राइट ठीक अरे वाह यूपी वाले बहुत है सो एनर्जी इज किलो वॉट आर यू विल कन्वर्ट राइट ऑलवेज सॉल्व अ क्वेश्चन वाइल कीपिंग यूनिट इन माइंड इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर प्री बोर्ड यही सब एवरीथिंग वी हैव डिस्कस्ड प्री बोर्ड प्री बोर्ड इज वॉट इट्स लाइक अ वॉट डू आई से ट्राई मैच राइट वॉर्म अप फॉर बोर्ड्स सो दैट्स इंपॉर्टेंट Numerical solving for electricity, yeah? Comment, I would say. Don't worry, I'm taking these, uh, uh, you know, learnings and whatever requests you are you are making. नहीं यार विशाल, don't say that. Never be scared of physics. One, all right. Next kind of problem, I'll tell you. Heat produced by 1.5 kilowatt heater in 30 minutes. Now, what is asked over here? Heat produced by 1.5 kilowatt heater in 30 minutes. Can someone tell me what conversions you want to make? Yes. Yeah, that's right, Yogi. Time should be in seconds, right? Heat unit is what joule. How to find heat? Power into time. Power is in watts. Time is in seconds. Then you get joule, right? No, 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 no. Not minute to hour. You are finding heat produced. There's a difference. I'm not asking you how much you have to pay, how much energy you have consumed, how much heat. When you say heat, you have to go for joule, right? And that's why you have to convert into seconds. Conversion of unit. Heat produced will be power in watts and time in seconds. Right, Are, it's okay. It's okay. You can you can get together afterwards. No, don't convert to us. The reason I'm taking these questions is because these are the mistakes I see. It's all from you, and that's why. Come on, why can't we use kilowatt hour? Huh? It's a good question, Anshuman. See, uh, heat. Whenever you give how much heat it is, it is dissipating. You give answer in joules. the examiner is expecting you to give the answer in joules if you give the answer in kilowatt hour you can argue sir that is also energy yes but that is a commercial unit of energy i don't use kilowatt hour for heat that's why yes yes samjhe that's why all these questions i'm telling you because this is something i have observed don't convert to hour kilowatt hour when it is asking you how much you will pay for this energy how much Units you have, you know, consumed. But when it is asking you heat, convert to seconds, right? ठीक है? Yes, you are right. चार भी. Both kilowatt and minutes, because power should be in watts and time should be in seconds. Then you will get the heat in joules. Otherwise, if you don't convert this into watts, what you will get? One point five kilowatt multiplied by thirty minutes. Thirty into sixty. This is what. Kilo joules, kilowatt will still work. You will get kilo joules, but that time is important. It should be in seconds. Okay. Energy measured, joules. Commercial unit, kilowatt hour. Fine. All right. So enjoying till now. Got all the mistakes. I mean, lot of mistakes. I think we didn't realize we can make. But you know what? We can make. All right. Mayank, heat energy. It is joules. CGS calories. But forget about calories. Take joules. SI unit. Hey na? Oh, tomorrow result is a. Huh? All right. ठीक है. Next, labeling of the diagram. Now, this is important. Why? I'll tell you. 
when you are solving such kind of a question you have drawn a neat and nice diagram but if you are explaining something based on the diagram make sure you label it right means what do i say by labeling i say mark the split rings mark the brush and also give the direction of the current right you might assume the examiner to think sir it is positive negative to aapko to pata hi hoga current yahan jana chahiye right you, you, you might be knowing that current is going in this direction but no be clear label it right so that is one very important thank you thank you final that was my intent here nice ha ah, electric motor parts second if you are dealing with a circuit based question this diagram making is a very important habit because as many of you told me when you write a solution with units there is less chance you can go wrong if you solve a question using diagram there is lesser chance you might go wrong right so it's a very good habit use diagrams right yes these are important questions these are very important questions actually all right similar with solenoid same things so there is nothing much what mistakes you can do i'm just telling you whenever you are solving such a questions no diagrams are a very good habit to show examiner sir i know things right don't worry copper wire copper is copper is a very good material it's a very good conductor see silver to we can't afford no so that's why copper although it is also expensive but at least cheaper than silver right ha huh, second last question yes so label the diagrams one mistake you got na thank you vidushi <laughs> this is very important man i mean today you understand this because i have also made these mistakes my team has made these mistakes and that's why we came up with this session and i'm glad yes it's helpful all right next apply the hand rules properly now this is not as such a mistakes is just a caution is just a warning right whenever you apply hand rules be very clear left was for force or motion force or motion fbi for what and mib for what remember right we have done these things nikesh yes i won't say necessary it's good right you won't make mistake if you draw diagrams <laughs> focus focus yes right hand thumb rule I, i mean i won't tell this again you know you you are just very well versed with this current magnetic field lines right left hand rule fbi fleming's left hand rule for force this one for motion right you know this hand rules are easy nice man yeah they are easy i'm just letting you know be careful while applying them right and i think you have got the hack for it chahe dance kar lo exam hall mein but get the question correct right stand up on your seat do whatever you want to do do like this do like this do like this jo karna hai karo but get the question correct fine practice paper put in the comments practice paper to they'll be practice uh, exam don't worry right yes so these were all the mistakes i do always mistake in left hand rules no force current magnetic field fbi this is what mib motion current and magnetic field see these two are always same no this is magnetic field this is magnetic field this is current this is current this is force this is motion simple yes keshvi that's also another reason बिल्कुल सही मार्क्स से मतलब होना चाहिए यस दैट्स ट्रू सो स्टेप वाइज इन सब्जेक्टिव एग्जाम्स द गुड थिंग स्टेप्स के मार्क्स मिलते हैं दैट्स व्हाई इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट राइट सो गाइस नेक्स्ट सेशन विल बी सो आई टोल्ड यू दीज काइंड ऑफ सेशंस विल कम नाउ दिस सेशन विल बी देयर हाउ टू मेक एफिशिएंट नोट्स वी हैव डन अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ इट दिस विल बी डिटेल्ड राइट हां न्यू बैकग्राउंड सो दिस विल बी अ डिटेल्ड सेशन ऑन हाउ टू मेक नोट्स है ना सो attend this session it's it will be important all right okay next uh, there is a trial class in the description you can check it out what is it and you know what i tell this every time you know if you think these things are helping out if you think we are doing a good job like share subscribe that's that's okay right and i'm sure you have just told your friends all right thank you thank you everyone thank you for joining and tell me what kind of sessions you want in the comment section all right Thanks for joining all right bye bye